on vacation for a while while he visits his boy Cinnamon Bun in the Fire Kingdom. Meanwhile, enjoy the best of the Stodgy Conspiracy. Hidden cameras in the Fire Kingdom. We think PB was after some ancient technology that created zombies and that unpleasant yellow fella Lemon Grab and who knows what else. PB is messing with forces she just on vacation for a while while he visits his boy Cinnamon Bun in the Fire Kingdom. Meanwhile, enjoy the best of the Stodgy Conspiracy. Here's another one! Flame Princess schemed as Fire Kingdom is doused. Flame Princess is in trouble, Jake. I gotta help her. Um, I mean, uh, we should investigate. Flame guards look really mad. What's up with that? I don't know, man, but we better fight now and ask questions later. about all the treasure we can carry. Flame Princess, what the flip? We heard something was wrong and came to help, but those dogs jumped us. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. The Flame Guards are really on edge. Everybody is. Something is putting out fires all over the kingdom. Yeah, I thought it felt a little cooler in here. Kind of foggy, too. Yes, that's the problem. It's like somebody's pouring massive amounts of water on our fires. The steam is already filling the Fire Kingdom. If whatever it is doesn't stop, the fog will spread all over U. What's the big deal? Everybody likes a good sauna. You don't understand. If the Fire Kingdom core is affected, there will be so much steam covering U that it'll completely block out the sun. There will also be record rainfall. Everything will be completely flooded. Don't worry, Flame Princess. Finn and Jake Investigations is on the case. We'll find out what's got you steamed. Thanks, guys. Even though the kingdom has cooled down a lot, things will get hotter as you get close to the core. You should find Flambeau and get him to cast a flame shield spell on you just to be safe. Good thinking. Thanks, Princess! It's a firewolf pup. He looks hungry. And fiery. <laughs> Cinnamon Bun is here, as usual. Hi, Finn! Hi, Jake! Boy, am I glad you're here to help us. We're investigators and adventurers, man. It's what we do. So, 
You have any idea what's going on around here? Nothing but what Flame Princess told you. It's getting all steamy and it's making people mad. And it's making the firewolves really bitey. <laughs> when did you guys first notice that the fires were going out? Hmm, let's see. I got a call from Starchy this morning. He's coming to visit. Starchy's my friend, and we don't get to talk much since I started spending so much time here, so... Cinnamon Bun, you're kind of getting off topic, dude. Oh, sorry. I've been told I lack focus. Anyway, it was only a few hours after Starchy called that all of the steam and stuff started. So how come you're just hanging around here instead of helping to fix this? My place is at Flame Princess's side. I have to protect her. Not that somebody else couldn't do it better. Ben? Do you know where Flambeau is? We need him to put a flame shield spell on us. I don't know. Last time I saw him, he was headed toward the furnace room, deep in the underbelly of the kingdom. Thanks for your help, CB. Hang in there, we'll figure this out. Thanks, Finn and Jake. I'll just stay here and keep Flame Princess safe. Yeah, I bet you will. Finn, get over it already! Even with the Fire Kingdom cooling off, she still looks hot. You guys need to hurry. The Fire Kingdom is getting steamier by the minute. Fire Kingdom hot sauce is dangerous to eat for non-fire people. In fact, be careful even carrying it. I wonder what that is. Some kind of machine, I guess. Pretty standard door. Everybody's got them. Hey, there's Flambeau. I wonder why he's in a jail cell. Flambeau! Man, are we glad to see you! Hey, Finn, Jake, I ain't unhappy to see you too. Dude, why are you in jail? Are you responsible for what's happening? No way, I didn't do nothing. I'm in here because I wouldn't share the last of my charcoal is all. Dude, we have to get into the Fire Kingdom core. We need you to do that flame shield thing on us like you did that one time before. Oh, no can do, Jake. That takes a lot of heat and power, and my body temperature is way low. I could help you out, but only if you can get it a little warmer and gets me out of this cell. Who locked you in there? The flame guards. I wouldn't share my charcoal with them on account of I ain't got much left. They got mad and locked me in here to rot. They hang out in the furnace room sometimes. Maybe you can find them there. Any idea what's causing the fires to go out? No, man. I heard somebody making crazy noises and some sound like water running a while ago. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. So, if we find a way to heat things up and we get you out of there, you'll help us? Yeah, no sweat, so to speak. Flame shields all around, if you turn up the heat and spring me. All right, man, hang in there. Me and Finn will take care of everything. Yeah, okay. Not like I'm going anywhere. Maybe you should start by lighting the furnace. That'd probably be enough heat to get my spell juices flowing. Looks like leftover prison food. Liver and onions. Ugh. Who knows? Maybe I'll need some nasty food for something.
this should really help calm the princess down. I just have to keep spelling it to make sure I get it exactly right. Nose never fails. Hear that, Jake? If we could get the bone out of that soup, we could use it to get that little firewolf we saw to follow us. I bet he could help us light the furnace. I guess. It's not like that flame guard's gonna let us take his soup bone. We'll have to find a way to get him out of here. Maybe we can stink up the kitchen by donking with his recipe. Let's look around for ingredients. Bleh! That cabbage is mushy. It's a kitchen knife! Never know when you'll need a good kitchen knife. All chopped. I'm surprised the knife didn't just mush up that rotten cabbage. So, yeah, now I have some chopped rotten cabbage. He called it firebone soup. There's gotta be a bone in there somewhere. I can't just take the whole pot. The flame guard would notice. This is gonna be great! <laughs> Leaping lava, that's rank! This soup smells like butt! Butt that sat in rotten cabbage! Hope I haven't screwed up the recipe. I'll just give it a stir and hope for the best. Hey Jake, watch this! <laughs> What the magma? That doesn't smell right! It smells worse than prison food! Maybe it just needs to simmer some more. And now for the final ingredient? What the heck? I'll put it all in! You're using all of it? Careful, Finn, that stuff is crazy dangerous! You worry too much, Jake! Uh-oh! What the- Oh no! Level 5 Ultra Spice Breach in progress! Run away! Dude, what did I tell you? Relax, man. Left the room, didn't he? Mission accomplished. Yeah! Awesome! Hey, we were right. There was a large bone in the soup. Now that the soup and the guard are gone, we can totally snag that bone. Hey, little firewolf, you want this bone? <coughs> if you want it, you gotta follow me, all right? <coughs> I think that's gonna work, man. But follow us now. He really wants that bone. You want the bone? Go get it! Good boy! That worked great! And there's no place a firewolf is happier than in a fire. Yup, it's getting warmer already. We've still got stuff to do. Let's get going. So I told Flambo, if you won't give us your coal so we can be all warm, you're going in the slammer. Nice! Maybe a few days of liver and onions will make him want to share with us. Hey, you got the key? Of course I do! I, hey! We've got company! That's right! And we're gonna take that key and break our friend Flambo out of your rotten jail! Yeah, I'd like to see you try! Come on, we can take these guys! Ah! 
Doesn't get much better than that. All right, enough. That shrimp flambo ain't worth taking a beating like this. You want the key? Take it. I'm out of here. Yeah, you'd better run. Could have saved us a lot of fighting if they had just given us the dungeon key in the first place. I'm still locked up, but at least it's warmer now. All right, Flambo, you're a free man. Um, fire guy. And nice and warm, too. You guys are the best. As promised, two flame shields coming up. Shutera Mesisa, Molakani Potza. There! You should be good to go inside the core now. Is the spinning part really necessary? Nah, that part's just for fun. Thanks for springing me, guys. I'm gonna go hang out someplace warm till you fix his things. Uh, later! Still hot in the core. We should be good to go now that Flambo cast his flame shield spell on us. What the? It's starchy! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that thing he's holding? Whatever it is, it's spewing water everywhere. I guess now we know what's causing all the fire to go out. Help! Somebody help! Starchy can't control this crazy water gizmo! We have to get the starchy so we can grab that thing and shut it down. But how? Whoa, oh, oh, yeah, Lee. Stodgy's getting really dizzy. It's one of those switch things that you have to put weight on. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Mm, that's not doing anything. Mm. Must be another switch somewhere. I can't shut this dad leg thing off. Check it out. That made the bridge work. Whoa, oh, oh, yeah, Lee. Shotty's getting really dizzy. Somebody didn't want people to get to that pressure switch in there. I can't shut this dad blame thing off. It's one of those switch things that you have to put weight on. No point in doing that. I think the switch in that glass room needs to be pressed at the same time. Hiskachi needs help! I can't shut this dad blame thing off! Whoa, oh, oh, now Lee! I don't think so. I can't break the glass. It's too thick. 
Guess the only way to find out what the lever does is to, you know, pull it. Let's see what this lever does. Hey, let me do this one. Sure, one of them. Thanks. I don't want you having all the fun. Whoa! Are you having fun yet? Ha ha, very funny. Just get me out of here, will you? Whoa, oh, oh, yeah, hee hee hee. Sachi get really dizzy! Alright, I'll just sit on that pressure yeah. plate and see what happens. Sachi needs help! All that trouble just to extend a bridge. What kind of dog has designed this place? Alright! Yeah! Sachi get really dizzy! What'd we ever do to these guys to make them mad? Turn that thing off. Hmm. Oh, off switch. Well, the color Starchy embarrassed. Thanks for your help, Finn and Jake. Starchy thought he was a goner. No problem, man. It's what we do. If you're not too dizzy, we need to ask you some questions. Sure, Starchy's got nothing to hide. What is this thing? It's called the Wet Willy. It's a magic artifact used to belong to Billy, the greatest warrior ever. A hero of renown. He slayed an evil ocean. He cast the Lich King down. Yeah, yeah, we know how the song goes. Why do you have this thing? Starchy wanted to visit his old buddy Cinnamon Bun, but it's really hot in the Fire Kingdom. It makes my crust extra crispy. So I needed something to cool down the fire. <laughs> Guess it got kinda out of control. Where did you find this thing? 
Who bought it at a yard sale? Pretty much everything from Billy's Cave is up for sale. If you hurry, you might still be able to get some stuff. But it's going fast. Oh, the prices are great. Thanks for the info, Starchy. I think we're going to hold on to the Wet Willy, though. It's way too dangerous, especially in the Fire Kingdom. We saw Flambo a while back. You should track him down while it's cool and get him to cast Flame Shield on you if you're going to stay here. No thanks. Starchy is out of here. He's had enough of the Fire Kingdom for one day. I'll visit Cinnamon Bun some other time. Uh, thanks again! Dude! I can't believe somebody's selling all of Billy's stuff! Yeah, we better go to Billy's cave and see what's up! Jake! What the flip is going on here? Looks like somebody's having a yard sale in front of Billy's cave! This is all of Billy's stuff, and most of these things are just as dangerous as the Wet Willy. We need to find out who's selling these artifacts and get them to stop. There's Marceline. Maybe she knows what's going on. Hey, Finn and Jake! You here to shop for cheap magic stuff? Hey guys, what's up? We were going to ask you the same thing, Marceline. What's going on here? What does it look like? It's a yard sale. Who's having the yard sale? I am. I used to live here before I lent the place to Billy. Now that he's gone, I figured I should clean it out so somebody else could use it. You sure have lived in a lot of different places, Marceline. Eh, what can I say? I'm into real estate. Do you know what all this stuff is? Yeah, a bunch of old magic junk. Billy's cave was full of it. He sure did pile up a lot of stuff over the years. Do you recognize this thing? It's called the Wet Willy. <laughs> well, I didn't know what it was called, but I do recognize it. I sold it to Starchy. He gave me like four gallons of red paint for it. You know how much I love red. How many of these things have you sold so far? A bunch. Business has been good. People love magic stuff. Marceline, you have to stop selling this stuff. It's really dangerous. Starchy almost put out all the fires in the fire kingdom when he lost control of the wet willy. Who knows what some of these other things could do in the wrong hands? Oh, relax, Finn. You worry too much. Most magic stuff is pretty harmless. It's not like there's a bunch of transmutation and teleportation potions or anything. Hey, Finn! Hey, Jake! Marceline! How much for this pump? Huh? Oh, <laughs> wow. Guess there were some transmutation potions. Jake! Ah, you goody goody! <laughs> And teleportation potions. <laughs> My bad. do better. You know, we could always take another shot at him. Get more treasure and stuff. Dude, where are we? And how do we get here? That potion the gnome threw must have transported us here. We must be somewhere really deep inside Billy's cave. 
Must be some kind of throne room. But it looks like there's a bunch of stuff missing. Yeah, maybe we can find the missing pieces while we look for an exit. It's a staff with a gem at the top, being held by creepy hands. That rock is super flat, dude. Too bad we don't have, like, a huge lake to skim it on. Looks like that guy got that, whatever it was, with his dagger. But not before it got him. Yeah, what the heck. Not like he needed the dagger anymore. Look at all those bones, dude. Whatever that thing was, it sure had a lot of legs. Hey, you never know when you might need the leg bone of a giant demon spider thing. It's like those pressure switches we keep seeing. Only it's missing the flat piece. There! Now it should work like the other switch. I'll hold this switch down for you, Finn. <laughs> Check it out! Secret door! Algebraic! Sweet! Whoa! Check it out! A red diamond-shaped gem! Dude, it's green. You should really have your eyes looked at or something. Maybe Jake could do something here. Looks like there's something under that rock. That's a good prying dagger. I bet Jake could help me out here. Hey, a happy little snail. Blue gem, cool. Hey Jake, this gem kind of looks like the one in that staff next to the throne. That clasp on the cloak is still doing a pretty good job of holding the cloak in place. Not that that dude can appreciate it at this point. Yeah, I guess you could probably use that clasp to hold something in place. Don't know what, but hey, you never know. That guy must have been chewing gum when he died. Still looks fresh. Ish. I can never pass up free chewing gum.
about all the treasure we can carry. Looks like that skeleton was holding something. Like maybe a wand, but it's missing some fingers. That's some creepy architecture, man. Looks like those hands are made just to hold up that blue gem staff. Great idea! That clasp isn't exactly like fingers, but it might just hold a wand in place. Now that I fixed it with the clasp, I think that'll definitely hold. Whatever it's supposed to hold. There! That'll make the red gem sticky enough to stay in there. Old gum. Is there nothing it can't do? That should make the green gem sticky enough not to fall out. That won't work. Nah, I don't think so. Looks like we need to put a staff like that other one in this holder. But we don't have one. <laughs> Looks like there might have been something diamond shaped in that empty holder. Good job, Finn. That gem's not going anywhere. Empty socket. Looks like there might have been something crescent-shaped in it. Perfect fit, dude. Gem. Pretty. Got it. Probably should put it back at some point, though. Hey! It's sort of like that staff we saw back in the throne room. There! That's about as close to the real staff as we're gonna get. That gum is just what I needed. That'll hold the orange gem in the socket. Looks like there's something in the dragon's mouth. Check it out. It looks like that dragon used to be holding something. Check it out. The dragon's sticking his tongue out at us. It's some kind of wand. I've seen one like it before. That's a pretty nice wand. Bet that'll come in handy. Yeah! Cool! That totally worked! The clasp is holding the wand in the skeleton's hand. Yep, that's got it. The orange gem is back where it belongs. Finn, Jake, where have you guys been? I was getting kind of worried. Long story. Marceline, please tell me you stopped selling Billy's stuff. I still have a few things to track down, but 
There's one thing I can't find. The sword that opens and closes Billy's cave. I sold it to Cinnamon Bun, but I can't find him anywhere. Oh, that should be easy to get back. That sword comes to you when you say its name. What's its name? Watch this. It's really cool. Its name is... No Tongue! That's weird. That always worked for Billy. The problem is that swords with retrieval spells only return to their rightful owner. Since I sold the sword to Cinnamon Bun, it will only come when he calls it. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to find Cinnamon Bun then. Where do you figure he is? He lives in the Fire Kingdom now. Guess that's as good a place to start as any. <sighs> good luck, guys. I'm really sorry I caused so much trouble. Bring back the sword and I'll lock everything back inside Billy's cave where it belongs. Will do! Come on, Jake. Guess we're heading back to Flame Princess. Um, I mean, the Fire Kingdom. attention. Cinnamon Bun! I'm glad we found you. We need to talk. Sorry, Finn. I'm really busy. I don't have much time to talk right now. We'll be quick. Did you buy a sword from Marceline? Yeah, and I really hate it. Thought it would make me happy. But it's only caused me a lot of grief. We need to get that sword, Cinnamon Bun. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Kind of goes wandering around. But I don't have time to look for it now. I'm busy making soup for Flame Princess. One of the Flame Guards was making it for her earlier in the kitchen. He blew up the soup and destroyed the kitchen. Now I gotta make a new pot! Can't believe that guy screwed it up so bad. <laughs> yeah, good help is hard to find. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'll help you guys as soon as I'm done. I just need a couple more things. Jake and me will help you out, CB. Do you have a list of what you need? Sure. You need charcoal? Yeah, this fire's not hot enough. There should be a pile around here somewhere. We'll get you some charcoal then. Anything else? Peppers? What, the soup needs more spice? Yeah. Somebody used the last bottle of our ultra-spicy hot sauce, so they'll have to use peppers instead. But somebody took those! If you could track them down and bring me some, that'd be great. Super spiced peppers coming up. What else? That's all. Thanks for helping me out, guys. No problem. Come on, Jake. The sooner we bring back some charcoal and peppers, the sooner we can find out where that sword is. say you can never have too much charcoal actually I don't think I've ever said that whoa dude check out this thing yeah wow how come this didn't seem important the last time we were in the hallway what do you think it does um... That, I guess. Uh-huh. Hey, there's Flambo. He's got a big pile of hot peppers. Hey, Flambo. How about giving us some of those peppers? Cinnamon Bun needs them for the soup he's making for Flame Princess. No way! These peppers are mine, fair and square. I ain't giving them up. Man, why can't stuff ever be easy? Yeah, right? Uh, we gotta find a way to get those peppers from him. Cooled it down. The fuel blobs will pass right by it now. There, that cooled it down. The fuel blobs will pass right by it now. Whoa! Now it's super hot!
When a blob hits a flame, it explodes. Cool. Fire in the hole! What the? Bad egg fire! Well, that's one way to get the peppers, I guess. It would have been easier if Flambeau had just given them to us. Oh well. Cool. Cool. Just the way Flame Princess likes it, I think. Now, we just need to heat up that fire and get it boiling. That's not working. Thanks, Finn and Jake. The fire's going great. There should be just enough peppers in there to make Flame Princess feel better. I'll set aside a little to taste and seal the pot to simmer. Cinnamon Bun, now that we've helped you, can we... Not until I taste the soup, Finn. Here goes. Oh, ow! This soup is burning my taste buds! Ow! Oh, I wish I had no tongue! Yeah! What the flip was that? That was a stupid thorn you were looking for. I told you it causes no tongue but grief. Oh, no! The thorn knocked the soup pot across the room! Could you guys go get it so I can put it back on the fire? <sighs> Yeah, sure. Man, the sword knocked the pot up onto the ledge where we got the charcoal. Those flame guards never look happy. Man, the sword knocked the pot up onto the ledge where we got the charcoal. Jake, I think I see one of the missing stair planks down there. That plank's way down there, dude. Can't reach it. No way, man. I'm not going in there. Find some other way to get the plank. Good thinking, Finn! The plank is floating right to the top! Nice job! There's still one plank missing. And good as new! Algebraic! Yeah! Great! Let's get this soup back to the fire for cinnamon bun. Thanks! You guys are the best! Glad we could help. Now listen. You've got to give that sword back before it causes more damage or somebody gets hurt. You can have it! I don't want it anymore. It has to be official. You have to give Finn the bill of sale so he's the official owner of the sword. Otherwise, he can't call it to him. Okay, here's the bill of sale. No thong is yours. It must have worked! It didn't come flying when CB said its name. Awesome! I guess I'll just call it then. No t- Hang on! Remember, Billy used to catch the sword with the garland of the hero. If you try it barehanded, you might lose a finger. Or, you know, an arm. You hated it last time that happened. Yeah, that was no fun. But the gauntlet of the hero was destroyed by the lich. Where else do we find a nice, sturdy glove to catch the sword with? Hey, how about all those weird catcher's mitts that Lemongrab has in his castle? Maybe we could, um, borrow one. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's head over to Castle Lemongrab. Okay, but we better be careful. Lemongrab's probably still mad about the pranks and being electrocuted, stuff like that. 
Yeah, good thinking. That's definitely worth noting. Aw, come on! That wasn't even close to no tongue! Ugh! Would somebody please get that sword out of my kingdom? On it, princess! Come on, Jake, let's go! You! Why have you returned to Castle Lemon Crab? Listen, man, we're really sorry about what happened when we were here before. Our behavior was... Mm, unacceptable? Yeah, totally. Mm, yes, your pranks made me quite angry. And you left that magic person in my reconditioning chamber. Mm, even I find him to be most unpleasant. Have you come to take him away? I hope. No, sorry. Actually, we came to ask if we could use something. Yeah, one of those catcher's mitts you have in all your display rooms. We won't take it out of the display, and we only need it for a few minutes. Hmm, my catcher's mitts are very important to me and have great value in my lemon heart. But perhaps I can allow it. Oh, come on, lemon grab. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't really important. Wait, what? Yes, you may use one of my precious mitts. Awesome, thanks. We'll just go in. And... If you can bypass my new defenses, I have set up a security device that should eliminate all pranking in the future. If you can find a way past it, you may have the mitt you seek. Knew there had to be a catch. <sighs> you got a deal. Where do we start? Begin in the hallway, where you first began your last tormenting of me. But do not dare to hope. Or you will find that your attempts to break through are futile. Now, go! Hmm, all the doors have been changed. Yeah, they've got lights over them. And there's a bunch of poles with lemons on them in the hall. That must be the security system Lemongrab was talking about. I wonder how it works. He said it was really complicated. Sure hope we can figure it out. If we don't, we'll never get that catcher's mitt. This lemon pole has a light-colored lemon on it. There! Now it looks like the dark-colored lemon poles. There! Now it looks like the dark-colored lemon poles. This lemon pole has a dark colored lemon on it. Looks like it's dirty or something. All clean. Now it's a light colored lemon pole. All clean. Now it's a light colored lemon pole. It looks like the dark colored lemon poles. All clean. Now it's a light colored lemon pole. Lemon grab will totally flip if we give him some spicy lemon john candies. Hey, we still got plenty lemon candy left. Want some more? Yes! Sour, non-spicy lemon candy is my favorite of all treats. This is gonna be great. Mmm, wonderful. This is spicy, too spicy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you have spice pranked me again. I will not stand for this. 
It is unacceptable! I am in need of water. I am going. Do not try to follow me and console me in any way. Yeah, no worries on that front. All right. Awesome. Man, that water chewed lemon johns would stick to pretty much anything. Good thinking. The sword won't bounce off the mitt now. Okay, let me try calling the sword again. No tongue! Hey, it worked. Let's grab that stupid sword and get out of here. Yeah! Sweet! Glad that's over. Let's head back to Billy's cave and put that sword where it belongs. Finn, Jake, you're back. Did you get Billy's sword? Yeah. But she wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get it. Nah, I was filling Marceline in on what you did. Glad it all turned out. And no hard feelings for taking all my peppers. We can even that score at some later date. Thanks. Marceline, how about you? Any problems tracking down all the artifacts and putting them back in Billy's cave? Um, no problems worth mentioning. Everything's back. We should be fine once we seal up the cave. Then what are we waiting for? I guess nothing. Hey, where are you going? Man, that is super annoying. Yeah, and it's gonna be a problem. The cave won't stay sealed if the sword keeps flying away to its owner. What can we do? I wish there was a way to make Billy the rightful owner again. That's it! Good thinking! If you destroy the bill of sale, the sword reverts to its original owner. Great! Let's do it! Hey, a happy little snail! An old fire pit. The bill of sale is ready to burn. Now we have to find a way to get it burning. Now all we have to do is find a way to light the fire. Hey, Flambo! Want the rest of your peppers back? Oh, there's some left? Yeah, sure. Hey, yours are great. All right. Bye-bye, Bill of Sale. Yeah! Now let's seal up Billy's cave so we can head home. Okay, time to close up Billy's cave again. Ugh! Ugh! Now all of Billy's stuff is safely locked away where nobody will get to it. At least for now. <sighs> Thanks, guys. Sorry I caused so much trouble. It's okay. Just no more yard sales! Are you guys telling me what I can and can't do? Uh, no! Marceline, you can totally do whatever you want. We would never... <laughs> oh, after all these years, you guys are still easy targets. See ya! Sheesh! I think I've had enough for today. Let's head home. You said it, buddy. I could use a little downtime. This investigation stuff is hard work. Perfect. That's exactly what Bimo needed. There! Fink! Jake! I have fixed the record player! Yay, Bimo! Whoa! Nice job, Bimo! That's even better than the old one! Yeah, that's awesome! What say we do a little dance and celebrate our first four successful investigations? That's a great idea! I think we should start by playing my favorite record, the one Mom and Dad used to play for me. Where'd you put it, Bimo? I have it right here, Finn. Don't worry, I kept it very safe, and I cleaned it up just for you! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's spin that puppy! Here we go! Um, there is actually music on your favorite record, right? Bimo, when you cleaned the record, what did you do? I noticed that the record was very bumpy, so I fixed it with sandpaper. It's now smooth as a Bimo's bottom. Yay, Bimo! You did what? Bimo, the bumpy parts are what hold all the music and stuff. Without those, the record won't play. Oh, no. Bimo has really messed things up. I'm sorry, Finn. 
That's okay, Bimo. You were only trying to help. But man, what are we gonna do, Jake? That record was a reminder of how Mom and Dad raised me after they found me in the woods. I love that record. Don't worry, buddy. We'll think of some... Hmm. Jake, I don't know if I can concentrate on another case right now. I don't know, man. Check this out. Investigators desperate to fix Finn's favorite record. That's weirdly specific. Yeah, but it must mean there's a way to fix the record. What should we do first? Hmm. Well, let's start by taking the record to Marceline. She helped us the last time we had a musical problem. Maybe she knows what we have to do to fix it. Look! There's a new case available on the ticker type. 